in this video uh, I stated in the last one that I'm gonna do more treasure road missions I feel like I should just do episodes where I stick to the treasure road missions so that it's dedicated to them because I feel like I want to I want I really want to show them off it's a really cool idea uh, and we're back in the natural plains is because we still have some treasure road missions in here we have two or three I think um, yeah we have three or no we have two because I already did the one in the back so we have two in the natural plains and it looks like it's the mouthful ability so let's let's get this done I, I, I really love the idea of Treasure Road. It gives you more stuff to do and it rewards you and it gives you stuff that lets you upgrade abilities. It's really cool. This isn't this isn't that hard actually. I just have to I I'm over here spamming the B button, all I have to do is hold it down. I just realized that. Because it's giving me like a thousand a thousand cans to shoot. So I don't even have to worry about running out. This is essentially what I upgraded the, the ranger ability to, it's just like automatic shooting. It's actually really cool. <laughs> it would be cool too if the treasure road missions had like secret waddle dee missions, like maybe one or two, because it's like, I don't know, you could just find more stuff to get. Um, like I don't know, if I shoot every enemy with a can in this mission, I get a waddle dee, which would be really cool. And I am running out of time. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. We did it. That was a pretty easy mission. I don't know why the difficulty said it was kind of hard. When it really, all I had to do was hold down the B button and move. I didn't get the target time though, but who cares. Whoa, whoa, calm down, calm down. Dang, they really, I guess this is kind of challenging because like if you miss the, 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 the like the dive, you might die. Cause it's on, it's on one singular pipe. You have enemies that just knock you back every time you get hit by them. And I have like such a short amount of time too. It's already at 30 seconds. Oh no, oh no, I'm already screwing up. Cool. Uh, 10 seconds to spare. Awesome. I almost screwed that up. Missed the target time again by 4 seconds. Of course I did. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's two treasure roads. That was pretty fast, actually. So we're going to do two more. And then we're going to go to Waddle Dee Town and upgrade the other abilities. Okay. It looks like I'm going to get a treasure road for each ability and each mouthful ability um, if that's the case that means there might not be a lot of treasure roads or I'm just gonna have to replay some to get the stars again the materials but what I'm hoping for is that in future levels it's the upgraded version of the uh, the abilities that give me a new treasure road to play on because the cutter the cutter evolves into chakram which I already have so I really hope there's a mission based around that but who knows only time will tell but when I get to that area of the game because I'm only in world 3 I just unlocked world 3 in the previous episode and I have yet to discover the first level because I I thought I should just do some more treasure road stuff to upgrade the abilities I kind of just it's not because I want to like get a lot of content for this game which I kind of I, I really do actually I shouldn't say that I kind of want to just show off as much as I can even though I don't get a lot of views I just like recording stuff <laughs> I like to think of I like to think of YouTube as a good hobby for me. It really takes my mind off stuff, especially since it's something I don't really need to spend money on. Well, technically I do. Sometimes some games I play is because I just bought them, but I just like recording stuff because it's a good hobby. Uh, it gets me away from like, I don't know, other stuff. I don't know how to explain it. What am I doing? Oh, I gotta put a whole circle around this. There you go. That's a cool idea. I didn't know you could do that. I gotta do it again. It really wants me to do this Quake Surge thing. But I'm not gonna do it because I can't time it. And I'm already about to die. That's not good. 
Also, I've seen videos. I haven't watched them. I've seen the thumbnails of them about the timeline for this game. And that there's actually, like, lore behind this. Which I, I, I thought there would be. It's literally about a world, like, that's similar to ours. And it's, like, in ruin. And Kirby's in it. So there's gotta be, like, a timeline thing that explains why we're here, why the world is the way it is. I'm about to die. Please tell me this is the last one, because I can't afford to die. This would be like the first time I die in this game. Okay, whew, it was close. Whew, okay, whew. I almost died! <laughs> I haven't died yet. I haven't died yet in the single playthrough. I'm trying to not die at all. Like, I have not lost a single level, and I have not died at, like, at all. In any level. Not even the Treasure Road ones. I haven't died. So I'm trying to beat this game without dying. And I'm trying to get all the Waddledees. I don't really have to do the Treasure Road stuff. I just want to do them because I want to upgrade abilities and see what I get. So, I think we just got five or four, but it doesn't matter. Let's go check Waddle Dee Town. And I'll probably end it there. Because uh, the Treasure Road episodes, I don't really want to make long. Since they're just side games. So, what I plan to do with the Treasure Road episodes is where I, I plan to do maybe three or four missions. And then I go back to Waddle Dee Town and show off some stuff. So, this is called the Chain Bomb ability. This animation is so cool. I, I love watching him tinker and like work on stuff. The, the bomb ability is evolved into chain bomb. What does it do? What? Now what? I don't get it. This is kind of confusing actually. Oh, okay. So if the bombs are next to each other, right? Like that. And you blow them up they blow up where the bombs are because they're chained together that's actually pretty smart so you can like drop three maybe three i don't know let's see two three four five six okay maybe it's only five it looks like five is the limit so that's pretty cool well, let's upgrade the needle ability Clutter Needle. That's actually a pretty cool design. It's like pointy stuff from like different things. I wonder if this is like stuff from different worlds. Because I see shells. I see shells from the beach world. I see... I see the rocket, which is probably from the third world, the Wandaria one I just unlocked. So these might be like pointy stuff from different worlds. So that's actually pretty cool. Is this all it is? It's just like a design? Oh, no, no, no. The, the stuff popping out of it. Yeah. So the spiky stuff also pop out of you. So instead of just being a... Yeah, instead of just being a spike ball, after you let go, stuff falls out. Okay. I mean, not as cool as the gun, but, you know, you gotta come up with something for it, abilities, right? Let's check out this Waddle Dee Cafe stuff. Welcome to Waddle Dee Cafe, the coziest little bistro. You can grab a bite here to recover. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so we can, like, recover some of your health, recover some of your health, recover a lot of health, recover all your health. Let's do a lot of your health. Take it to go. Oh, that's what that is. So... I can bring me, I can bring an item with me in case I'm ever down low on health. That's pretty cool. All right, cool. Hey, Kirby got a sec. Now that the Waddle Dee Cafe is open, part-time gig. I don't suppose you're looking for a start career. Solo gig. Easy gig. It's a mini game. Let's go. Kirby's working at Waddle Dee Cafe. He wants a Max Tomato. He wants a drink. He wants another drink. He would like a tomato. Okay, this is simple. This is really simple. I like this. 
This is actually, I'm enjoying this. This is so simple. I mean, this is a Kirby game after all. This, the whole game is just simple. What's happening? It's lunch rush time. Yo, it's like I'm at my job. Like my actual job, I just serve food and the lunch rush just came in. Oh cool, I don't even have to wait sometimes. Sometimes they already know what they want. Just like real life for my job. Some people don't know what they want because it's hard for them to read a menu for some reason. And some of them know what they want. Nice. Ja, Hand,